You may not know where you want to move to in New Hampshire, and you may have never even heard of Newmarket, but you probably have a good idea of what your budget is and how much you can afford. Well, today I want to go over the most recent closed sales in Newmarket, New Hampshire. That way you'll have a really good idea of what kind of house you can afford. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Jen Baer and I am a realtor and ballroom dance instructor here in New Hampshire, but most importantly, I am a lifelong resident who loves sharing all the pros and cons of her home state with you. And if that sounds like something that you would like to know more about, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know every single time I post a video. If there is a town that you would like me to cover, please put that in the comments down below or reach out to me in any way that you see fit. New Market was a request from one of my viewers, so thank you, and I hope this answers some questions for you. A little information about New Market. It is a small town uh, in Rockingham County in the seacoast region of New Hampshire. Uh, a lot of the residents of New Market are either students or they work for the University of New Hampshire in Durham since it's close. Um, it's north of Exeter, which is a town I did um, a few weeks ago. The water you see in any of the pictures of Newmarket is the Lamprey River, and there are mill buildings along that river that have been converted into businesses and condos, and that they were actually put on the National Registrar of Historic Places in 1980. In the past 30 days, there were only seven closed sales in Newmarket of single family homes or condos. I think that's another indication that it is a smaller town and we're still in a seller's market here in 2022. And stay tuned to the end. I'm going to share with you some statistics of New Market based on the information I'm about to share with you right now. Like every other town I have covered so far, the lowest priced listings are condos. But unlike some of the other towns, uh, there are no properties that sold in the last 30 days in New Market that were in the hundred or two hundred thousand dollar price range. This first one starts at three hundred and five thousand. It's a condo, four bed, two bath, one thousand seven hundred and twenty eight square feet, uh, nineteen eighty four townhouse style, and it sold for. Oh, I already said three hundred five thousand. Um, the condo fees for this property is three hundred dollars. That's something you have to factor on top of your mortgage if you're thinking about um, how much you can afford and price per month. Um, so that will be added on to that. Next, the con next condo is a three bed, three bath, 2013 square feet, built in 2002, also a townhouse style, also $300 a month more uh, condo fee, and that one sold for $390,000. And now we're already in the $400,000 price range, also a condo. This was only one bed, two bath. Uh, it does have a loft, so it's not considered a separate um, bedroom, but it is a separate living space. 1,440 square feet. Uh, it's an antique townhouse style built in 1900. And it had a number of different fees each month that I added up to come up to about $730. Uh, again, it's going to be something that um, a realtor like myself can look into, or sometimes these condos have associations with websites that you can go and see what that fee covers. And that one, like I said, sold for 425 and next we have a single family home. It was a ranch. Uh, this one sold in the $500,000 price range, 530,000. It was a two bed, three bath ranch, 2,081 square feet, uh, built in 1999, and it was on 0.45 acres. After that is a colonial, uh, 538,000, so 8,000 more than the last one. Uh, three bed, three bath, 2,118 square feet, built in 2001. So these two properties are quite similar. Uh, 0.36 acres. And then we have a Cape, also three bed, three bath, 1,875 square feet, built in 1986. This one had more land, 3.35 acres, and it sold for 540,000. So two more than the one before that. And we only have one more property, uh, and that's going to be in the $600,000 price range. And here it is, it's a colonial, four bed, three bath, 2,740 square feet, built in 2003, and on 1.19 acres, it sold for 100,000 more than that last property, 653,000. So out of those seven listings, they all sold within one week on the market. And that's just indicative of the market right now and the fact that there's not a lot in new market. Um, the average days on the market was five. Uh, the oldest home was built in 1900. The newest home was built in 2003. Uh, one of the properties sold at list price. 
All the other six were over list price and the average amount over list was $21,000. Well, I hope you found that helpful and you learned a little bit about New Market and what properties are for sale there or actually what properties sold there. If you want to know the properties that are for sale there, I'll have a link down below to a market report for New Market that will give you the current active listings, the high, the low, and the most popular property. If there's a town that you would like me to cover, as I said in the beginning, please put that in the comments below and I will add it to the roster. If you like what you saw here today, please give me a thumbs up. That way I know to make more videos like this. If you have any video requests, I'm also looking for topics for other issues to cover regarding New Hampshire. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Hustle on my friends. I'll see you next time.